Today we have a very nice exponential challenge. It's one of uh, Olipid math uh, challenge, um, solving exponential equation uh, with radicals. So the question reads, we have three to the power of x minus four to the power of x equal to the square root of 12 to the power of x minus 16 to the power of x. What there will be the possible value of x or values of x? In this channel, I'll solve a similar problem of this nature. The video is showing up here now, okay? You can watch that video later. Now, in that video, I use a special approach, but here I'm going to use a different approach. In other words, you have to learn something different from this um, very one now, okay? So when you watch the two videos, you're going to see the, um, the differences or the similarity uh, in that question. Although the figures are different, okay? But it's the same thing. So how do we go about this? Now let's go to the board. Now before we go to the board, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. So let's go straight to the board and we'll put down our selection. All right. Work. So let's put, in, put down the question. We have three to the power of x minus four to the power of x equal to the square root of 12 to the power of x minus 16 to the power of x. Okay, very easy. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is to um, take care of this radical. This is the square root. So how do we eliminate this radical? We have to take the square of both sides of the equation. And so the first step we're going to take here is going to give us here 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x r squared equal to the square root of 12 to the power of x minus 16 to the power of x uh, squared. Okay, now look at this radical here now and this power. Both of them will cancel each other. And so these, these will leave the system. Yeah, we are not exposed. Yeah, so from here, we cannot have an equation to be your 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x or to the power of 2 equal to 12 to the power of x minus 16 to the power of x. Good. Now we take a critical look at x. 12 can be written as um, 3 times 4. And 16 can also be written as 4 times 4. Now there's a video I produced where a, one of my viewers also asked the question that, sir, how do you know that at each point in time you are to multiply by 6 and so? It is so because as a mathematician, uh, a tutor, there are steps you just uh, see that the world, they will just unveil immediately look at the question, okay? So consistent practice of um, uh, mathematical challenges or solving problems, we unveil some of the, 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 the veil in our eyes in the area of mathematics, okay? So yeah, the reason why we have to uh, simplify this into three times four, and this four times four is because here we are having base three here and we're having base four here. Okay, so let's express this side out. So we're going to have this to be three to the power of x minus four to the power of x r to the power of two equal to your three times four r to the power of x minus um, four times four r to the power of x. This has not really changed anything because 3 times 4 will give us 12 and 4 times 4 will give us a 16. Now, record the law of indices which says that if you have um, a dot b r to the power of uh, 2, this is equal to your a to the power of 2, okay, times b to the power of 2. In other words, we distribute this power among the content we have in here. Okay, so having done that, we can distribute this x among the content we have here and this x among these two. So we can rewrite this to be your three to the power of x minus four to the power of x or to the power of two equal to three to the power of x dot four to the power of x minus four to the power of x dot four to the power of x. Okay, now let's look at this again. You discover something common to this and this. 4 to the power of x is common here, and 4 to the power of x is also common here. So we can factor 4 to the power of x out here. So let's proceed on this other side of the board and get a clearer picture of what we do here. So this now implies 
your 3 to the power of x or in bracket minus 4 to the power of x or to the power of 2 equal to 4 to the power of x here we're going to have your 4 to the power of s bracket if we use this to divide this we're left with 3 to the power of x so we have here 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x which is this into this we're left with your 4 to the power of x in bracket okay so with this we look at this again now you discover that uh, from this expression here what we have inside the bracket on the left hand side is same thing we have in the bracket on the right hand side so what happened now in that video i told you of which is a similar um, challenge of this kind i use a different approach but look at what i want to do here now i want to send this to this other side of the equation we could as well divide through by 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x okay because we have the same thing here like that okay that's the approach i use in that formal one okay but look at the different approach i'm going to use here now i want to send this to meet this other side so if i do that i'm going to have this to be 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x or to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of x or into 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of s close bracket on the right hand side we're left with zero good now let's take another look at this a challenge if i consider the whole of this entity as one single entity or as a single entity this as a single entity then we can bring in another alphabet here in other words we can say here yeah, let let um let's use a u this time around u be equal to 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x so we have 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x here we have same thing here so if we replace u with what we have here now then our expression which is this automatically becomes u squared minus 4 to the power of x u equal to zero now i guess if you look at this this is a quadratic equation because we're having the highest variable sorry the highest power of the variable to be two so this is a quadratic equation so how do we now solve this quadratic equation very easy yeah we don't have a constant attached to this expression here so we can go ahead to factor out u from this part here okay so if we factor out u we're going to have this to be our u into u minus 4 to the power of x close bracket or equal to zero easy now at this point now we succumb to a rule called the zero product rule okay i made use of this uh, rule in many of my videos uh, you can watch and see uh, what it says but the zero product rule says that here we're having an entity multiplying another entity and this other side of it is zero it says that equate this to zero equate this to zero so that means we're going to have this to be u equal to zero or our u minus four to the power of x equal to zero in other words we take this as case one so if we take case one case one what is our case one case one says that u equal to zero but recall we say from here that let u equal to three to the power of x minus four to the power of x in other words wherever we see you let's put in this value again if we do that so we're going to have this to be our um, uh, three to the power of x minus four to the power of x equal to zero send this to this other side of the equation so we now have this to be three to the power of x equal to your four to the power of x again let's proceed on this other side of the bird we have three to the power of x minus four sorry equal to four to the power of x this question looks um a bit rhetorical but it's very easy to solve what we want to do here now is to divide through by the power by four to the power of x so if we divide this by four to the power of x also divide this side by four to the power of x so what happened to the right hand side of the equation this and this will lead okay so here we'll have you one and according to the law of indices 
it says that if you have your um, uh, a all over uh, b if they are having the same power let's assume this one is to power of y this is to power of y then we can rewrite this as a all over b or to the power of what y similar thing is happening here so we can convert this expression to this form from this and so that now implies that our three all over four all to the power of x equal to one okay let's get rid of this okay so how do we get our x here now from this equation now we can take the log to base at uh, three all over four okay or we can take log to base 10 but i prefer using the ln okay so let's ln both sides of the equation okay so if we ln both sides of the equation we're going to have this to be ln of your three all over four all to the power of x equal to the ln of one according to the law of log reading we say that if you have log um a or let's use m to the power of k then move this exponent backward to give us here k dot log your m okay so if i succumb to this law we can move this exponent here now we can move the whole of this exponent backward here so if we do that our equation will now becomes we don't have this to be your x um ln of your three all over four equal to ln of one we're looking for x so we divide by the ln of three all over four all over here we have the same ln of three all over four good so on the left hand side of our equation this this will leave and so our x will now stand on its own so we now have x equal to the ln of one all over if we apply the division law of logarithm here this will give us ln of three minus the ln of four again with our calculator you discover that ln of one is zero so zero all over everything we have here we give us zero so automatically the whole story will give us x1 is equal to zero now i've gone ahead to substitute this um, a value into um the initial equation and it satisfies the equation okay for time constraint you can do that on your so i will do that now mind you we are uh, we have two equations so we just finished looking for case one now so let's look for case two how do we get x from our case two so let's take our case two okay now recall your case two case two says that u minus four to the power of x equal to zero again we replace our um uh, u with uh, uh, our entity which says that if you remember we have three um to the power of x minus four okay to the power of x then for the whole of u then minus four to the power of x equal to zero good now we have minus four to the power of x minus four to the power of x that will give us two times uh, four to the power of x so we now have this to be three to the power of x minus two dot four to the power of x equal to zero so we move this to this other side of the equation so this will give us three to the power of x equal to two dot four to the power of x okay then we want to divide through by um four to the power of x this to four to the power of x again the right hand side of the equation will give us two we apply that same law again so this will give us so let's proceed here this will now give us three all over four all to the power of x equal to two let's align both sides of the equation again so if we align both sides we're going to have here ln of three all over four all to the power of x equal to the ln of two move this exponent back again according to the law we just look at at the other time so this will now give us your x dot the ln of your three all over four equal to your ln of two again we divide by ln of three all over four this by ln of three all over four so the left hand side these these will leave the system will left with x the side of the equation will left with your x equal to the ln of two all over the ln um, applying the division law of logarithm 
So we have ln of 3 bracket minus the ln of phi. Close bracket. Okay, so this is the value for our x2. For our x2. All right, so let's rule this out here. Recall we saw for our x1 already. So we have our x1. x1 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's rule this out here again. All right, now I've gone ahead to uh, simplify this down. And if you simplify this down, you're going to have something like a minus a 2 point something, um, uh, something, a approximate value, okay? And if you plug that into this expression, it will give you the correct answer. And also our x1 equal to 0, I've also done that too. If you check with these two roots, it will give you the correct answer, okay? So these are the solution to uh, our only paired uh, amount of question, QED. All right, so this is all I have for you for today. If you learned something good from this um, the simple challenge, this only paired mass uh, question, drop it in the comment section. If you love what is going on here, drop it also in the comment section. It could just be, thanks, Jay. Love you, Jay. Okay, we are good at responding to comments, okay? You'll be there in the time past, and you're still there observing everything. We love you, we love you, we love you. Most especially, Jigs loves you. Okay? Bye for now.